Hey guys, welcome back to another Atomic Lesson by me. Today we're going to go over muscular fitness exercise prescription. So what is muscular fitness? It's basically a combination of muscular power, muscular endurance, and muscular strength. Um, and in simpler words, it's basically how well your body adapts and performs your daily living activities. It also has a positive correlation with quality of life. So the more efficiently you're undergoing these activities, the better your life is going to be, essentially. So to do this, we're going to explain and plan a mesocycle to foster muscular fitness. Before you prescribe any exercise intervention, you're going to want to discuss with your client what their goals are. So in this simulation, uh, we're going to use John Doe again. Um, his desired goals is to visibly have muscular thighs and calves, um, but he's a beginner. He's never worked out before, none of that. Um, so to target this specific goal, we're going to enter the hypertrophy mesocycle. We know that hypertrophy shows off those big showy muscles. You can't see mine right now, but I wish you could because they're huge. Um, <laughs> keep mentioning this thing called a mesocycle so what is a mesocycle it's usually two or more cycles within a macro cycle a macro cycle is an entire training period of an athlete um and a mesocycle usually lasts several weeks to several months um so in order to obtain these big muscles um <laughs> we're gonna enter the hypertrophy phase of the macro cycle, which is a mesocycle. We know that the hypertrophy and endurance phase is typically low to moderate intensity. So we'll be working between 67 and 80% of our client's max. Um, if we know that our client has a one rep max of 280 pounds, that's going to be our 100%. So then we can use that information to calculate how much weight and of what certain exercises this person should be doing to obtain their goals. These are the tables used to kind of determine where you're at as a beginner, intermediate, and advanced level. Um, so we can see here it tells us kind of what we're looking at, what our regimen is going to be like. So sets per exercise, reps per set. Um, and this all has to do with hypertrophy variables. Um, and then at the bottom, we know kind of how many reps we're going to have to be doing to increase hypertrophy. So we're going to be in that 6 to 12 kind of range there. For this simulation, um, our mesocycle is going to be four weeks, so four weeks training hypertrophy, and that's going to get us to our client's goals. Um, week one, we're going to work at 70%, week two, 75%, week three, 75%, and then week four, um, about 80%. Cycle. So a microcycle is essentially the weekly uh, weekly breakdown of the mesocycle. So kind of how I think of that macro cycle is like a year long, um, mesocycle is a uh, month long, and then microcycle is that week long kind of thing. Um, so we're going to do a breakdown of our mesocycle of hypertrophy. Um, that whole mesocycle is going to take four weeks, like I already mentioned. Um, within these or microcycles, we're going to um, say exactly what days he's working out, what e exercises, what percent of their one rep max, um, and then how many sets and reps they will be so doing. This is going to be our breakdown of microcycle for week one. As you can see, we chose the Monday, Wednesday, Friday split model. Um, and we implemented different exercises. You want to have um, appropriate rest as well just to make sure that your muscles aren't getting too overworked or fatigued. Um, some of the uh, exercises that we implemented were back squat. Um, and as you can see here, we're going to start them uh, for their hypertrophy mesocycle with 70% and 72%. Um, and then we have the given um, weight 
and sets and reps for that starting week one. This is our week two microcycle. We're still gonna follow that Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, model. Um, and then we're gonna work at 70% of our one rep max. Week three, still following that same model. We see now we're gonna implement that 75% of our one rep max. We're gonna up that weight to 205 for back squat. This is our week four microcycle. Um, we're gonna be working that 80% to reach our desired goals. This type of training program is completely dependent on your pers uh, your client's health status, physical fitness, um, and really just what their goals are and how they respond to different exercise interventions. Um, the principle of this refers to how the demands placed on the body must be continuous and progressive. So that's why we implemented, we had that 70% and then we gradually worked our way up to 80% of our one rep max in four weeks of time. Um, in order to achieve hypertrophy, again, like it doesn't mean you have to lift super heavy weights at every workout. Rather, it wants, the focus is on you're lifting more and more over time gradually. Um, so yeah, I encourage you to um, develop your goals and then try to create a macro cycle or meso cycle or even micro cycle your day to day um and see what you come up with ta ta for now